Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another Giants update video. And this one, I just really want to talk about the top four offensive line prospects, that being Andrew Thomas, Jedrick Wills, Tristan Wirfs, and Makai Becton. And for me, it is in that, or in that order of who I think is the best, but all four of these guys coming out in the draft this year are head and shoulders above the rest in their class. They are the four best offensive line prospects. They are the four players who would probably be uh, the instant starters of any other players on, you know, in this draft class. The ones who could come in and have an instant impact. Really day one starters at the offensive line talent right here. Now then, the reason I want to talk about it is because, you know, going through Twitter, going through YouTube, going through the Giants Reddit page, Reddit page and whatnot, well, a lot of the reasons as to why people don't want to draft an offensive tackle or any offensive lineman for that order in the first round is because, and it's a good reason too, it's because of the last time that we did that, it was with Eric Flowers. You know, the last time we took an offensive tackle in the first round was 2015, pick nine, Eric Flowers, and we all know how that turned out. Eric Flowers is probably single-handedly the worst pick in Giants history. This dude by himself took like five years off of Eli Manning's career because he was a revolving door at left tackle and let anybody get through the sack or get pressure on Eli. We, we tried to move him to right tackle, didn't work. Um, apparently he's good at the guard. Uh, in Miami he was, um, I mean in Washington, he was serviceable at the guard after Giants cut him. And now he signed a three year, $10 million contract with Miami. Nobody knows what's going on in Miami, so I don't put it past them to pay a player like Eric Flowers that much money. Whatever the case is, he left a bad taste in a lot of Giants uh, fans' mouths. And a lot of people don't want to go back that route because the, you know, picking a tackle in the first round and then having it blow up in your face, having him being a major bust, really sets back, you know, the plans for the franchise quite a bit and really endangers your quarterback as we saw it did with Eli. But what I wanted to cover is the fact that these guys coming out right now are completely different from Eric Flowers. The scouting reports and any little bit of research that you do would show that what these scouts see in these guys are different from what they saw in Eric Flowers and that there were signs back in 2015 and these articles, you know, these were scouting reports are still up there is the internet, everything is still there. There were signs that Eric Flowers should not have been drafted in the first round and should not have been a left tackle. I'm just gonna read off a couple of them to you guys. For example, on the NFL's own website, I don't know if many of you noticed, but the NFL, they put up their draft profiles on their own website with their own NFL scouts. They put together a report that consists of overview, analysis of their strengths and weaknesses, how they did at the combine, how they did at their pro day, and then they make their own grade, they have their own grading system and they put it up on their website, available to the public. It's just there, you know, you just gotta look it up. And back in 2015, of course, let me go over a little bit of his strengths, you know. They said he had a big athletic frame, you know. We know this, Eric Flowers is a big dude, he's like 6'6", 320 pounds. They said he was a mauler in the run game. Uh, he has good arm, arm extension. He has, you know, consistent blocking at the college level. But they also said his pass protection was really bad. His footwork is sloppy, very undisciplined. Instead of actually throwing a punch towards, you know, the coming, uh, the oncoming defensive lineman, he just sort of throws his arms and flails it there. They kind of mentioned, kind of hint that maybe he's going to be better suited at the guard position, but they still projected him to go in the first round. Here's the thing, though. Their draft grade on him and the way their grading system works, I'm going to put it up, like the highest grade a player can get for the NFL draft system is like an 8.0. They're a perfect prospect. Eric Flowers got a 6.12 and on their, you know, on their little index, they say from the range of 6.1 to 6.2, this player is a good backup who could become a starter. So even back in 2015, there are scouts, there are reports out here that said maybe Eric Flower isn't that guy you want on the left side of your line to protect the blind side of your quarterback because they're not sure how good he could turn out to be. Walter Football, another really good scouting uh, website that I use, in fact, you know, when I do my mock drafts and whatnot, this is what they had to say about Eric Flowers. The strengths and weaknesses comes down very similarly. Powerful run blocker, you know, heavy hands, consistent, uh, consistent extension, 
really good in the run game, but the weaknesses remain the same. May not end up at the left tackle, not a natural bender, can get too wide with his arms, should improve overall technique too raw. So once again, here's another website that says, yes, there's, there's positive things about this guy, but the weaknesses really show through. And they have a really lengthy paragraph that um, you guys could go out and read. But the one that really caught my attention was this right here. As a, um, He could end up as a top right tackle in the NFL. Once again, not our left tackle. Moving to the right side would hide the fact that he's not a natural blender. However, Flower is only 20 years old. He has a ton of upside, could develop into a starting left tackle, and be one of the more powerful tackles in the league. So there's signs there. You know, they say that he, he had the potential. However, the guys that are coming out right now, everybody said they're already at their potential. You know, a Jedrick Wills and Andrew Thomas, Mekhi Becton, Tristan Wirfs. Everybody believes that these guys are either already at a starting level for a left tackle or at that starting level for a right tackle. And, you know, they're, they're going to be fit there. They're going to be fine there for the next 10 to 15 years. It's different from what's happening with Flowers with the fact that they don't know if he could even be a starter at the NFL level. Another website, BigBlueView.com. Here were their pros. Accomplished, three-year starter in Miami. Tremendous footwork. Aggressive run blocker. He's a good zone block scheme tackle. He has a quick punch. Khan's technique has lapses. He gets beat most often with swim moves on the inside hands and he needs work. Has a poor base that allows stronger def defenders to just bull rush him backwards. And he has balance issues. And there was a prior knee injury that's also worth keeping his eye on. Now, of course, Big Blue View is a website that is for specifically for the Giants, you know. So this, you know, report that they combined back in 2015 was to see whether or not he could be a good fit for the Giants. Their final thoughts basically consisted of he's moving up on their big board because coming into the 2015 draft after his combine, after his pro day and whatnot, Eric Flowers did start to climb on boards. Well, he wasn't he was never near like the top tackle prospects before combine before the draft you know kind of going back to what i say all the time man the tape never lies player could perform stupendously you know athletically and all that but just go back to the tape and you'll see that it never lies maybe there's a reason that before all these athletic testings they weren't in the top spots of their position right big blue view ranked them on their board as a 35th overall player and they said he would go around 37th overall in the draft. That's in the second round. They say that his balance issues and strength are really frustrating to watch on film. He could be a, a left tackle, but he needs to start on the right side. And he's more so a player with a high end, you know, high ceiling. But as of right now, the floor, they're not sure where it is. So if Eric Flower was really a boomer bust prospect before he was even drafted. You know, there's a lot of things you could go online and find here that suggest before the NFL draft in 2015 that Flowers was not the dude you wanted at the left spot. And a lot of it, you know, it's related to stuff like his technique, which we still see problems with today. The fact that he can't get low enough, the fact that he has balance issues, all around things that are important for a franchise left tackle. And the fact that they were basing this off as his potential rather than what he already accomplished. The guys that are coming out, man, Andrew Thomas, Jedrick Wills, them two specifically, they have been the best of the best at their positions, left tackle and right tackle respectively. And a word on Jedrick Wills, although he played right tackle at Alabama in college, Tua's blind side is the right side because Tua's a left-hander. So technically, in a way, he's still a left tackle because the left tackle protects the blind side of the quarterback. Tua just happened to be one of the only left-handed quarterbacks in uh, the NCAA. So they placed Jedrick Wills at the right side. I'm not sure how that affected um, you know, defenses coming onto him if they moved the guy who would usually attack the left tackle to the right side or whatnot. But Judge Wills still has the ability to produce at a left tackle level in the NFL. And these guys and Andrew Thomas and Judge Wills, you don't see cons like this on them. In fact, you very you very little at times would you see any cons on them at all. The cons, the most of the cons you see on these guys, like for example, for both Thomas and Wills, is their size or their build, I should say. They, they say he could be a little bit bigger. He's a little shorter than you would like at the left tackle or right tackle position. He could be a little bit more of a mauler, but it's not major things like, oh my God, his technique is bad. His footwork is bad. Uh, he relies too much on his weight. That's a little bit like a Makai Becton, who in my opinion, has that Eric Flowers boom bust potential. He's a dude that is super, super raw. And is really the only reason he's, in my opinion, 
or you know what I should say the main reason he's rising up boards is just purely because of his size it's like by the time defenders figure out what to do against him and how to get around him the ball will probably be out the quarterback's hands but you never want to rely on that for somebody that's protecting the blind side you still want them to have some type of actual technique in them but you won't see these weaknesses amongst the guys the, the top four tackles coming out this year sure there are their weaknesses but it's not major fundamental things like an Eric Flowers had and for that reason I think that you know maybe maybe we shouldn't be worrying about them you know about these things with them because they're not an Eric Flowers these guys have tremendous experience at their positions three four years of experience at their positions versus Flowers who I think he had only like um uh I think maybe like two and a half or something like that because he got to the left tackle position at Miami after their starting left tackle went down. Something like that, right? Can't exactly remember, I'll pull it up maybe. But he was never even meant to be at Miami, their left tackle. So th there's another thing, you know? But I just wanted to get this out to y'all, show you guys a little bit of articles from the past. I'm sure you could find it on your own. Like I said, it's up there. Nothing ever really gets deleted on the internet. It's always up there somewhere. But these tackle prospects, I'm way more confident in them than I ever was in Eric Flowers. And I feel like, you know, you guys should notice also, if we take one of these guys, worst comes to worst, we'll have a starting right tackle. Need not, not a left tackle like we want to, all right? So that's what I got for you all today. Uh, stay safe out there with the quarantine going on, lockdowns all over the place. Wash your hands for 20 seconds and whatnot. I'm out. <laughs> You're... Alright guys, thanks for watching, put your comments down below, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.